So it's been an extraordinary few weeks for Reform UK. The party has rocketed up the polls since Nigel Farage announced two weeks ago that he was taking over as leader. Our latest polling suggests Reform can get five seats. That's five more than we were predicting at the start of the campaign. And they include places like Claxton in Essex, Boston and Skegness, another big Leave voting constituency, as well as Ashfield and two more. So why are voters here choosing this party? Well, Reform UK say they want to win over people from what they describe as left behind communities. And if we look at the places where their message is cutting through, we can see that they do experience higher levels of deprivation than the rest of the country. This index here, it measures things like income, education, health, and housing. And Clacton, where Nigel Farage is standing to be an MP, you can see it's the 45th most deprived constituency in the UK. And then on the opposite end, we've got places like Surrey Heath and Mid Buckinghamshire, usually Tory heartlands. But how much does reform have to offer people living in places like Clacton? Well, let's take a look at their biggest policy on tax. This is what Nigel Farage had to say about it at the party's manifesto launch. But I think the most innovative thing, uh, policy that we put out in here is to raise the level at which people start paying tax to £20,000 a year. That would be a good thing, of course, for those on low pay. OK, so Reform UK want to raise the basic rate at which people start paying income tax to £20,000 a year. But they also want to increase the thresholds at which people start paying the higher rate to £70,000 a year. And this would reverse the stealth tax that the current government has put in place by freezing those thresholds. But the way Reform UK have chosen to un freeze the thresholds is overwhelmingly regressive. It's the highest earners who benefit the most. Take a look at these bars behind me. This is the top 10% of households in terms of disposable income. People in this category have more than £3,000 left over each month after paying their direct taxes, their council tax and housing costs. These are single adults, by the way. And they stand to gain a massive £5,983 in additional disposable income as a result of these changes. But then let's take a look at the bottom 10%. Now, households in this category have less than £700 a month to spend on things like food and heating. And they're only gaining £221 a year. So the gap is massive. And Nigel Farage, he's been on the airwaves this week saying that the policy actually benefits the poorest households more in percentage terms. Well, we ran those numbers. And you can see that that's just simply not true. It's the middle to higher earners who stand to gain the most in proportionate terms, three times as much as the poorest 10% of households. So Reform UK, they're selling this policy to the lowest paid in society, but the real winners are anything but. This is a party who say they're for the working class with big tax cuts to offer the top 10%.